What's up guys, Weather Wednesday, coming at you with another Raid Shadow Legends video. And I have been laying low a little bit the last couple weeks, not making too many videos, taking a little mental break from recording. And there's been a little bit of drama going on in the game, a little bit of drama regarding what free to play is and isn't, a little bit of drama regarding what is a good nerf for Hydra and what is not. And we'll live. We'll live. Whatever's going on, we'll get through this. Uh, the changes in Hydra will be live tomorrow morning, I believe. And I think it might be a good thing. But we'll see how frustrated I end up being once we actually get into it and see how hard Hydra has actually become for most players. I, I'm hoping that it mostly nerfed those insane teams because that wasn't really properly balanced. Whether you had one of those teams or not, it just wasn't. But today, Soul Chase Tournament. So I've been waiting for this. The other thing that kind of bummed me out in the game was I didn't end up going for Freya because I had been saving shards for that. I had been saving for shards for Freya instead of going for uh, Jeroboam, the current fusion. He might have just ended. I don't care. He didn't seem that interesting of a champion to me, so I was saving my shards for Freya. And then what did she need? She needed she needed you to pull some soul stones, but I didn't want to pull for that because I didn't want to spend all of my gems doing champion training. It wasn't interesting to me. Didn't really have the time or energy for that. So here we are today with a Soul Chase tournament that I'm probably not gonna win. But more importantly, we have two times chances for five star and six star perfect souls. And with the importance of souls in this game, I think this is a much better time to be pulling rather than getting a Freya who would have been cool to get would have been cool to get, but I don't think she was really necessary for my account. I just kind of wanted her anyway, but I decided ultimately to pass and hopefully it'll pay off today when I pull all these soul stones and hopefully I get something from my wish list, five or six star. Uh, up top, these are basically three of my base uh, best arena champions. We got the White King and the White Queen, and we got Marius, all of whom are pretty low stars. I think I've got one or two stars on her, two or three stars on the King, and I think one star on Marius, because they're at least these two are relatively new on my account. I've had them for a couple of months now, maybe. Uh, here, you know, these. I'd like I'd like to make my Phoenix stronger. I don't use him a ton. But if I got him like five or six star, well, if I got him six star, he'd probably be viable in some things. Ugo, I use a couple of them. One of them's already five star, so I'd like to get the other one a little bit higher. I think the other one's only one star. And then Nia, I don't know if I still have a use for Nia since the Hydra nerf. I was hoping to maybe get another Nia someday, maybe build a Trunda team, but. I don't really have another idea of what I want to build uh, as far as FX go anymore. So who cares? And then uh, rares. Who cares about rares? I don't care about rares. I've already got two six star cold hearts. So after that, those are really the only rares I super care about. So we're going to pull 93 mortal soul stones and then at least 10 but probably 11 or 12 immortals and then uh depending on how i feel regarding the tournament i might be able to pull an eternal soul stone because i'm awfully close to getting there so we'll see how this goes hopefully holding off for this time was worth it we want to see some six star souls We've got a two star kraden that might be an upgrade uh, probably not. Here we go. We got a five-star Supreme Aethel, who fortunately I do not have. Uh, nobody wants Supreme Aethel out of the Void Shards. Uh, they really need to buff her to make her uh, something useful. So I'll probably just sell that. 
because I don't have her and I don't want her and I might regret re regret that if they buff her in a year or two but what can you do you, you can't just you can't just say well maybe someday they'll buff her they probably won't but if they do I'll regret it if I get her six star dark Elhane who I don't use I don't really like dark Elhane maybe she'd be better with six stars but I don't know feels like a sell to me feels like maybe I can do better than that we got gold we got a two star Narciss unfortunate I would have really liked that to be higher two star Crixia I think I already have something higher for her do I have any mythicals besides Lady Mikage I do not a six star Ifrit that's gonna be a sell, of course. Of course, that's gonna be a sell. We got gold. We got a two-star Elagius. I don't have him, and I, quite frankly, don't care to get him. Uh, who else do we got? Uh, some epics I don't particularly care about. Diana, is she good? I feel like she was uh, maybe part of a fusion, like a fragma fusion or something. Don't do this to me. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't have her, so who cares? Okay, let's keep going. Um, ooh, this is not going to be good. They, they started doing that again, where you, the, you show the tournament points. You're showing the tournament points. Like, I know I'm not going to get anything, because you showed me the tournament points. That's dumb. You got to be smarter than that. 29 points. See, why are we showing that? Okay, I think I ran out of room. Let's see here. Let's see who we can awaken. Actually, probably just not gonna. Let's see here. First of all, we will sell all the blues. We don't care about any of this. What do you get for a six star? Ooh, we get a hundred. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Mm, what do I have for... Maybe I'll awaken my backup. No, I can't. Um, might use him someday. Sure, I'll put a one star on Basilisk. Why not? Okay. Uh, yeah, don't need that. How about Epic? What do you get for that? 380. Oh, yeah, I'll take that. Get that one. And we don't care about Elagius at all. I'm selling that. Okay, I think that's probably it. And then I don't need that for sure or that. And we're back. We sold most of that. Didn't care too much about most of that. Okay, let's see if we get something good. We get two star Bavald. I have three Bavalds and I don't like him at all. I mean, I use him a little bit where I have to, but I do not like him. So I certainly didn't want a soul for him. I probably already have a better one anyway. We get a three star Nia. I don't know if that's an improvement or not. Renegade's not an improvement. Star Marius, let's go! And a five star Ugo! Let's go! Oh, we'll take that. We'll take that right away. Uh, five star Marius, that's, that's great. 
That's great. Okay. Who else? We Oh, well that was Okay, I guess I'll take the blessing for Bavald. Do I like him? No, but sometimes you got to use him in like Curse City or whatever. All right, my second Ugo is also going to be 5 stars, which means I probably should take Ugo off of the wish list. Uh, do I really care about that champion? No, I do not. So, should we change up our wish list? We got a five star for Marius, so I'm not sure that I should keep him. Um, maybe him. Let's see, who else can we put on our wish list who could really benefit? Um, Nishak is so good now. Who else could really use it? Newt. Let's put Newt back in there. I would still really like to get a good soul for Newt. And then... Ugo. Ugo. I really... Don't need Ugo in there anymore. Who else can we get? Uh, I actually use Ursala. In Hydra, I wouldn't mind her getting a better soul. And we still don't care about the rares. Not really. All right, 13 left. And then looks like we're going to have quite a bit of uh, Immortals as well. And we, <laughs> we're not getting anything here so far. That's a pretty weak run there. All right, we got three more of these. Three more. And then we're going to check out our tournament points. So we got gold. Really? <laughs> I already sold the five star. You think I'm going to keep the two star? I am not. All right. So last one, and then we'll check out our tournament points. We got an epic and a one star Sui Ren. I'm going to have to pass on that. All right, let's, let's get rid of pretty much all of these. Getting good points out of this. that out and that okay okay it looks like we're at 1830 points so we're getting really close to this mythical book I'm sure that we will be able to snag that uh, it's gonna be really difficult it's gonna be really difficult to catch up with McQueen 44 here uh, but we'll see how high up we can get uh, it will be nice to get that mythical book for that day in the future when I actually get a mythical champion. Come on, let's go. Why are we freezing here? Okay, so we have 14 immortals and we might pull the eternal. I'm not so sure about that. We'll see how I feel. So we're gonna actually, we're gonna start off with the tin pop. Let's go in hot. Let's see something amazing. Maybe a six-star Narcisse. We got a three-star Blade Master. That might be useful. Seneschal, I will sell. Mordecai, mm, might keep that one. We got a three-star Nice. Uh, okay, as if I even have him. Okay, that was not a hot start. Not a hot start at all. Uh, we got, got a few more chances here. A few more chances. What are we going to get? You know, whatever I get here, at least I got a five star for Marius. That's actually very solid, very solid. Obviously a six star would be nicer. Got a five star Arndolf. Not gonna do anything with that. We get ourselves another rare and our last chance. Let's get something good here. We do not get something good here. All right, let's sell off what we can, see what we can get in exchange.
And we will awaken our Zenogre. I don't really use her, but she's not bad. She could be usable in content, technically. Um, okay, so we are at 2,599 points. That puts us into fourth place, which is nice. I'll probably drop down a little bit over the next couple days, but maybe I'll get a top 10 finish and get some free gems out of this. I don't think I really want to be pushing any higher up because I don't think I'm going to catch the top guys. I don't think the reward is worth the effort. So I'm going to hold off. I'm not going to pull my three big soul stones. I'll save that for a time when uh, those are worth a lot of points for a lot of uh, events. So I'm going to hold off on that. But I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to claim uh, these prism crystals. And... We're going to go see if I can get a champion while I'm here. Who cares? We got a 1.5% chance of getting Odin. We could also get one of these other really solid legendary hero champions. Uh, I wouldn't be too mad about any of them other than I already have a dupe Pytheon. Uh, so I don't really need a third Pytheon. But let's see. Let's see what we can get here. We get an epic, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, we got an Aox the Rememberer, who I used a ton in early game. Uh, haven't really used him, other than maybe some Cursed City stuff. I haven't really used him for a couple years, but you know, if you're early game and you get him, he's actually pretty solid. Uh, so whatever. I mean, I, I'm not really too concerned about any of these epics myself, but there are some good epics in here. Obviously, you know, Stagnite, Ugo, Venomage, Creedin. You know, there are some really good, really good epics in there. And Aox isn't bad. Obviously, Deacon is really good. Um, oh, well, I didn't get, I didn't get uh, the 1.5% chance for Odin didn't hit. I, I think I will live. But thanks so much for watching. This was actually a very solid uh, Soulstone summoning for me. I was able to get Marius. I would really like to upgrade my uh, White King. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. Um, we'll go ahead and take a look at my champions. So I've got two star for White King and I've got one star for White Queen. So that's a bit rough, but getting a five star for Marius the Gallant is actually insane. I have Cruelty on him. Let me know if you think I should change that now that he's five star. Uh, I do use him primarily in Live Arena. Really, that's the only place I use him, I think, other than maybe Curse City. Uh, I just haven't really experimented with him anywhere else. But I, I use him all the time in Live Arena. Uh, he's really great. So uh, I'll have to reconsider if uh, at 5 star he should be any, uh, any different. But like I said, I'm going to hold on to these three Eternal Soul Stones because they are worth a lot of points for, you know, like some hero path events, stuff like that. Like, like compared to mortals and immortals, they're insane. Uh, plus right now is the two times chance of uh, six star or five and six star perfect souls. And uh, quite frankly, you already get five or six star perfect souls from eternal soul stones. So, not worth it to summon those today, but this is a solid session. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Wilder Wednesday. I will be back with more Raid Shadow Legends content, so don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll be back, and uh, I might be experimenting with Hydra a little bit in the coming days. Hopefully they didn't nerf my teams too badly, and hopefully they didn't nerf your teams too badly, unless you were doing one of those Trunda and Wixwell teams. Personally, I won't be missing them. Those teams were stupid. Just my opinion. I think that I think the game needed the balance. I just hope they didn't uh, swing the other way too hard. We'll find out. So I'm Weather Wednesday. See ya.